Hey everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. So I'm here with a little bit of a book haul. It's not too bad. I've actually been, I haven't been buying a lot. I've been wanting to just read stuff off of my shelves. So we're going to get started. First one I want to talk about is I actually did an order through Etsy for Double Booked Co. Um, I'll leave a link to them below. I did a mystery, um, a couple mystery books as well as um, a bookmark, but oh yeah, I'm using it. <laughs> It's in my book. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to show you the two books that they sent me. I, I get nervous with mystery books, like bags and boxes, because I'm like, I have a lot. But they sent me two books that I did not have, and I'm beyond excited. So first one they sent me is Psycho. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, yes. Oh, love it. And the next one is they sent me a Stephen King book. It's The Mist. Oh my gosh. Both super excited for both of them. I do not have. Look at like it's like I'm just beyond excited. Plus this super 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 cute little little bag, perfectly wicked. Okay, so I got those books, and then let's see. I picked up a book for one of my book clubs, the one that I do at work. Um, in May, we're gonna pick this one up, which I did not even. This wasn't on my radar anywhere, which I don't even know how it wasn't, but it's The Betrayal of Anne Frank. It's a cold case investigation by Rosemary Sullivan. So it really looks into um, what happened. So it says like, like almost every other American, Vince Pancoke learned about Anne Frank in school. When the retired FBI investigator visited the Anne Frank house well into his career, he was astonished to find that the question, who betrayed Anne Frank, had never been decisively answered. So he said he loved nothing better than a challenge, and so he signed on to the cold case investigation immediately. But as the project continued, he had moments of wondering what he'd gotten himself into. The case was more than 75 years old, the betrayer and most of the immediate witnesses were probably dead, and there were so many other complexities. We couldn't get any tougher circumstances he said still he couldn't shake the feeling that this was what he needed to do and so this goes through oh look at these bad papers um it goes through that investigation and kind of what happened so i'm really really excited to read that and find out a little bit more about that one so i picked that up um where do we go from here Ooh. My book of the month book that I grabbed is the book of cold cases. I know you guys are all shocked. The one St. James, one of my favorite authors. Love her. Um, it's her newest book, past and present, dual timeline or dual timelines, multiple perspectives. I'm hoping it's creepy. There better be a ghost. That's all I know. It's all I want to know. I cannot wait to pick that one up. Um, I bought a few more books on that lovely. Facebook page, which I keep forgetting to link below. I need to remember to link that below. Um, so I bought four of them. I found a really good deal, like a really good deal. So I have Meet Cute by Helena Hunting, a total disaster or maybe not. So it's Caitlin Flowers, um, was always calm, rational, and controlled not like me <laughs> until she ended up sprawled all over Dax and Hughes the former actor she totally crushed on as a teenager all this sounds fun um then she did the unthinkable she became a mortifyingly fangirl in five seconds flat which may or may not have included professing her undying love okay this sounds hilarious and oddly he didn't run away in fact their meet cute led to a friendship she never saw coming and of course she never saw his betrayal coming either hmm. This was totally like cover by because I needed to get four of them in order to get the deal. So I'm excited to pick that one. I also got the Stephen Rowley, the editor. Um, he wrote The Gunkle, which I absolutely loved. Um, and I've been eyeing this book up for a little bit. Uh, Sarah actually found it when we were in Asheville and I'm so jealous she found it at the, I don't know which one we were at, but it was super cheap. Anyways, I only paid a few bucks for this, so it works. Um, let's see, after years of trying to make it as a writer in the 90s, New York City, James, finally sells his novel to an editor at a major publishing house, none other than Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. Jackie, or Miss Onassis, has been known, as she's known in the office, has fallen in love with James' candidly autobiographical novel, one that exposes his own dysfunctional family, but when the book's forthcoming publication threatens to unravel already fragile relationships within his family and with his partner, James finds that he can't bring himself to finish the manuscript. Oh, she pushes him to write an authentic ending. James must finally return home to confront the truth about his upbringing. Interesting. All right. 
like I said, I just wanted it because it's a Stephen Rowley book. I mean, the Gunkel was freaking fantastic, so I wanted more. Um, I picked up The Last Guest by Tessa Little. This cover, loving it. Um, when a glamorous dinner in the Hollywood Hills ends with the host's death, every guest comes under suspicion and it goes from there. And that's all I want to know. We're going to keep it, you know, you know me with like these types of books. I don't want to know much. And then my friend has been just talking and talking and talking this book up. Star Cross um, Sisters of Tuscany by Laurie Nelson Spielman. Um, and she, she, I didn't expect her to like it as much as she did. So I'm thinking I'm going to love it just as much. Um, let's see, Philomena um, cast a curse upon her sister more than 200 years ago. Not one second born Fonta Fontana daughter has found lasting love. Some like second born Amelia, the happily single baker at her grandfather's Brooklyn Deli claim it's an odd coincidence. Ooh. Huh. The great aunt calls with an astounding proposition. If they accompany her to her homeland in Italy, Aunt Poppy vows she'll meet the love of her life on the steps of the cathedral on her 80th birthday and break the second daughter curse once and for all. All right. It sounds interesting. So I picked that one up. Um, then the amazing curly reader Amanda sent me this book. She was listening to a podcast and they were talking about this and she's like, this is a book that Lindsay needs. And um, I was not feeling the greatest. I was kind of a little like get well present, which I just, she's amazing. So um, Unmissing by Mina Kent. Um, so happily married couples, it's best not to talk about the past until it comes knocking at the door. So basically um, Merritt and her husband have the life they've dreamed of, a coastal home, promising future, and a growing family. That dream ends late night with a knock on the door when Luca's, her, the husband's first wife, Lydia, who's been missing for 10 years, shows up at the door. Interesting. I can't wait. And then the last book I want to talk about is a book that was sent to me um, from Cape Publicity. It is The Candid Life of Mina Dave by Namrata Patel. Oh, first of all, I love this cover. I don't know what it is about blues and yellows, but they're my fave. Um, so it says a woman embarks on an unexpected journey into her past in an engrossing novel about identity, family secrets, and rediscovering the need to belong. This comes out in June of this year. We have Mina is a photojournalist and a nomad. She has no family, no permanent address, no long-term attachments, preferring to observe the world at a distance through the lens of her camera. Sounds fun. But her solitary life is turned upside down when she unexpectedly inherits an apartment in a Victorian brownstone in historic Back Bay, Boston. I'm loving that. Um, her impulse is to sell it and keep moving. She decides to use her journalistic instinct to follow the story that landed her in the home of a stranger. It's a mystery that comes with a series of hidden clues, a trio of meddling Indian aunties, oh, sounds fun, and a handsome next door neighbor. For Mina, it's a chance for newfound friendships, community, and culture she never thought possible and a window into her past her she never expected. So sounds like there's a little bit of mystery of her past she does not know about. She's gonna uncover that and see what happens. I'm interested in what happens with the aunties and with the neighbor, for sure. And their short chapters. Oh, love me short chapters, you guys. So that's it. I'm super excited. This comes out in June. I'm hoping to read this before release date. So let me just do that. But there's that one. So that's the small book haul I have. Like I said, I've been really, trying to keep it tame lately as I've been reading books and getting them off my shelves and just kind of enjoying what I have because there's nothing better, right? Um, if you've heard of any of these books or you suggest that I pick them up sooner than later, comment below, let me know. Otherwise, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye.